hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see the uses of for loop in iterating over different types of iterables objects so let's get started so in example one we are going to see the iterable object list that how we are going to use the for loop to iterate over a list so as you can see we have taken a list fruits and we have stored three elements apple banana and orange now we will see that how we can use the for loop to print on these three elements line by line okay so as you can see we have written for first now for is a for is also a keyword in python which is used to uh, iterate over an object or use the for loop so first we have to write the for then the iterable uh, variable i is our iterator variable then the membership operator in it specifies this operator specifies that we are going to uh, iterate over this uh, you can say this variable or this iterable object so in our case our list name is fruit so we'll write fruits then coming inside followed by the colon colon specify that this is the block of for loop now with the proper identification we will use the print function and then we will print i when we'll execute the cell you will see that apple banana and orange line by line these three elements present in our list has been printed so this is how you can iterate over a list using the for loop moving forward in example 2 now in python we can iterate over strings also because strings are also an iterable object in python because strings are sequence of characters so it is also treated as a sequence so that's why we can iterate over string values also so we have uh, stored python in a variable word then for iterating over the word variable what we will do we will use the for then we will give our iterator variable name that is care then the membership operator in which will specify that we have to iterate over this uh, iterable object and then we have written our object name word and then we are printing care now you will see that each word is getting printed in one line from the top p y t h o n now there is one more way we can directly write the name also suppose python 1 and it will do the work it will do the same work okay now moving forward for printing integer objects what we can do for printing integer values there is a function range function which can be used with the for loop to print integer values till the number specifies in it so how we can do it first the for loop first the for keyword then followed by the iterator variable then membership operator n and then we will write the range function range and inside the range function we will give we will specify the specific range till which we want to print and then coming inside the for loop we will print this iterator iterator, iterator print num then you will see when i have written 6 it is starting from 0 and it is printing till 5 and if you count the total value of these values from 0 to 5 they are 6 means if you'll write if you want to print till 6 you have to write here 7 because the ending value of the inside this range function is explicit is explicitive so it's not counts that number if you will write 7 so it will the total count of the number will be 7 because it's starting from 0 but it will print till only 6 okay so this is the use of range function with the for loop to print integer values moving on to the next example that example 4 iterating over list of tuple values so here we have created a list of tuples in which we have stored coordinates as you can see in each tuple there are two values the coordinates 1 2 then the second 3 4 and then in the third there is 5 6 okay now if you want to print the coordinates uh, x and y both at the same time in a same line so what you can do we can just simply use the for loop for 
and now if you'll notice here we have given two iterator uh, variables here x comma y and then we are iterating over this coordinates iterable object and then we are printing x and y along with the x colon and y colon and if you'll execute the cell you will get the output like this in which it is mentioned that first it is iterating over the x part as you can see and then at the same time it is iterating over the y part also means the y well y coordinates are also getting printed and y coordinates are also getting printed so in this way you can iterate over the tuples also now at last using the enumerate function now the enumerate function is used to print the index values together with the elements as in list we know indexing is present and apple is present at zeroth index banana is present at first index and orange is present at second index so if you want to print the index value also so for that we have to use the enumerate function here and how we will use that first we will use the keyword for to specify that we are using for loop then you will take two iterable iterator variables one is index comma then the fruit now these names are not uh, necessary that it will be index and fruit only it could be anything as i have said uh, uh, earlier also then the a membership operator in and then the iterable object uh, in of which we have to uh, iterate over that we have to write inside the enumerate function means enumerate is a already a built-in function inside that we will write our iterable object name and then we will print uh, the index a string and then this index variable and then this fruit variable over like this and now when i'll execute the cell you will see that index zero fruit apple index at one then fruit banana means the index values are also getting printed along with the elements present in our list so these were the five examples uh, in which we have used the for loop for iterating over each iterable object so i hope you like the video thanks for watching the video thanks for watching bye